guys, doing a little night sawing here. Had to take a little break after that second cut. Had two farmers stop by and bring me some pine over they want me to saw up. May even do a video on it. We've not shown any pine on this channel ever, I don't think. It's uh, one white pine and one yellow pine. Pretty good stuff, some nice, uh, nice good sized logs. We may do a video showing uh, some of that going on here in a few days. But anyways, back to the battered hand. We got four slabs out of this log and they're all nine quarter thick. If you're wondering why I left this slab on here and took another cut on it, well the reason being this is the bottom slab and sometimes it doesn't come out to the same thickness as the rest of them. So what I did was I took a measurement and it was 10 quarter, two and a half inches thick, it needed about a quarter inch took off. And it's okay that it's 10 quarter, that's no big deal. There's nothing wrong with 10 quarter slabs. But when I stinker and start stacking these slabs up, I want the thicknesses to be the same because if you put a slab in there, it's a quarter inch thick or a three eighths inch thick or something like that, it's going to throw your stack off. Then you start getting some real trouble when you start air drying this stuff. But that's what we did. And I do that a lot. I don't always show that on camera, but I always make sure this final slab is the same thickness as everything else I've cut. Now this slab is going to be decent. It was closest to the outside bark, so the figure is not going to be really fantastic as the other ones. But these other two, I got a glimpse of them as I was taking them off. And my goodness, there's some nice stuff in here. They're butt matched as well. So uh, let's dust these off and put a little water on them. I think I like sawing out here at night. Without the uh, being backlit by the sun back here behind me and beside me, the cameras pick up better. Maybe I should do all my videos at night. What do you guys think? It looks better, don't it? Like you're going to answer me. I'm talking through a camera. Leave me a comment below. How's it look out here sawing at night time with these lights overhead? We got a double crotch on this second one guys. We have crotch out here at the bottom as well as the top. Kind of hard to tell because I got this washboard going on and uh, you know the blade was sawing good so two things happened. I either got something in the bark right here caught in the blade or I was sawing too fast or too slow and it was operator error. You know it's hard to tell sometimes. But anyways guys I, it will show up better when we throw some water on it but we got some nice crotch feeder right here as well and uh, this makes this slab just twice as good. Also guys, you talked about doing a comparison. Well, this is a great example. You know, before I left to go unload that pine out of the truck, this right here was what was on top of the log left over. And I was gone for about two hours and that gave this log enough time to turn that natural walnut color. This one was freshly sawn just a few minutes ago. And it will turn that color eventually, but this is a great example of the contrast between the two. This is what it will end up looking like. And this is what it looks like fresh off the mill. I think most people will agree with me on this channel. This one right here is hard to beat. That's about as good as it gets on crotch walnut. That's perfect right there. Just outstanding. 